but the, the NASDAQ up 5%. It is vulnerable. Because a lot of the companies that are up fibers are people who they're just itching to get out of these things. And I don't think that this is going to turn around the fundamentals right. of some of the companies that were not doing well. Right. You got two names on the S&P that are red, I think. Uh, overwhelmingly positive breath. And we're near 3,900, which has been suggested by many as a potential ceiling. You think we're bumping up against well, it? Well, I just think you got to go over the parts of the CPI. You got to go over the components. And, you know, some of the components are, are really, you know, is energy services really going to be? The one that I couldn't figure out, how did medical care services go down? That's almost, that city, the city meds of the world? So the, maybe that's serious. Um, used cars, the Mannheim Index continues to go down, but new cars not. So I'm saying that this is not a definitive group of things that are going down when you look at the, the raw. The Nasdaq's up almost 5%, guys. That's what? What? I mean, this is an enormous rally right now. Well, can we sustain I, it? I'm saying it's an opportunity to get up. Can it some, be sustained? I mean, some, Amazon is up 8%. Um, Microsoft up 5%. Well, okay, my travel trust is in Amazon, and I'm very specifically not selling it because I don't think it's doing nearly as badly as people think. Well, but this, yesterday, we had D.R. Horton, largest home builder, up. Why? It was up 3 that was in anticipation of a really great number. NVIDIA is up 7.5%. NVIDIA um, reports next week. It was down big yesterday because people felt that they use it for crypto mine, which they don't because Ethereum doesn't work on it anymore. They do report, but they do have, and they got approval from the Chinese, from us to be able to sell dumbed down ch chips to the Chinese. But these stocks are suspect. And I like them, but they're suspect. You do. All right. But right now, whether it's the algorithms or whatever it might be based on CPI and what that points to, there well, are people who are saying this is the beginning of the new... Oh, yeah. This, I, of the, all the historical charts, if you plot the S&P against peak CPI, I mean, the right side of that line tends to be pretty good. All I'm saying is, is that there's some companies that aren't doing well, and this is a great opportunity, and then there are companies like the banks that are doing so well. I can't... People realize now they're actually winning on, on, on price on what they've been investing in. But it's just the time to buy Atlassian after that OK quarter. No. But is it time to buy J.P. Morgan? Yes. I'm going to Goldman Sachs later today. And Goldman Sachs sells it the cheapest it ever has to book. I don't want to sell Goldman up 10. So it sounds like you think earnings are at risk for next year. That yes. we, might have, we might have taken care of inflation, but the slowdown will Earnings are definitely at risk. And they're very worrisome because I think there are a lot of companies that, that, are pe that people are in that start doing poorly in the, in, in, because they can't get through the price increases. And then there are others who are, who, uh, you know, Johnson Johnson, large business for my, ch for my travel trust, they're, all the raw costs are going down. They're splitting off the, co the consumer business. That is the kind of stock I like. Right. The dividends suddenly in play is positive. Remember, dividends were, no, were, they were passe for a little while here. Do we have any stuff about Meta? Um, is that later today? I'm not going to think of because I was going to mention, I mean. I happen to think that Meta, if he can, if Mark Zuckerberg can do what he's saying in terms of cutting costs, there's an unbelievable piece by Moffat Nathanson today, okay. by Michael Nathanson, that made a brief for Meta that was extraordinary. And I think he's quite a rigorous analyst. Well, sort of related uh, is to your point about people looking to get out of things, CRM's the worst Dow name over the course of a year. Okay, and today I, it's the biggest gainer. I went over CRM today with Mike because big business been in position since 2008, uh, this Mark Benioff. And I don't think he can necessarily make the number because of the dollar. But if the dollar is weaker, that's the home run. If the dollar really has peaked, as I just called my wife in Paris um, it, during the commercial break, of course. If the dollar is peaked, David, I'm over here, I'm not over there. If the dollar's peaked, then you're going to want to buy Salesforce because okay. the dollar crushed them. Microsoft up 11, dollar crushed them. Has the dollar peaked? Well, that's, that's what I can I mean, I don't know. I'm asking I, you. We, we'll speak to Sarah Eisen later.